Now to work on the get by ID request, I want to add some more data first just to show you guys how much data we can get back. So what I'm going to do is inside the startup CS file again, I added the address and now I add a new address called address two and a third address down here. So now I have a couple of addresses. One thing we have to notice is I cannot just add them like before in the addresses field because now we just made our converter so it only accepts addresses IDs when you create a new guy right here. So I need to change this into an int value, a list of ints, and all I have to do is just grab the ID for that address instead of the actual address. And then I'll also add address tree for this guy and grab his ID here as well. So this is just, if you don't see any addresses right now, the address IDs are gone. That's actually because we changed the converter, right? So we added the list of addresses right here. Let's scroll down and do the same for the other guy here. Again, I'm going to use the address IDs instead of the actual addresses for now because I want the clean address setup. And there we go, now I'm going to grab the ID from this guy and the address ID two for this guy. So now. This has the, the one and three, and this has one and two. So there we go, now we have some addresses to work with. Another thing you need to see that I changed is actually I went from 100,000 or 10,000 here to five orders. It just took too long to create the entire database. It just annoyed me, so also changed that a bit. So now that we have some addresses, let's try and see what the get actually returns right now. So I've started the program, and let's try and jump into Postman and just do a send for a single customer right now and I won't get any address IDs back at all. So let's just fix that, that this lesson and then at least some of the IDs are coming back for now. So let's, um, we're going down to the repository because what I'm missing is of course the include. So I'm going to shut this guy down, jumping into the order repository, uh, sorry, the customer repository and I'm missing this include right here in the get request, right? So I'm not, I'm not including the addresses when I'm getting a single customer. So I'll do a, a startup again and now you can see the addresses will also be provided in the get request and the next lesson, we'll play around with this where we actually figure out how we can get the real addresses instead of just the IDs when we're actually pulling out one single customer. I want the address to also be there. So let's try and see this running now. If I go in here and I do a send now, notice now I'm actually getting back the IDs. So the get is actually ready to use with the include statement. All we need to do now is figure out how we get the actual addresses instead of this null value down here. See you next time.